There we go. Apparently I can't do it in reverse. So, Ben's Family Farm. I'm Shauna. Chad. This is new to the farm. This is Rampage. He is a purebred Cooney Cooney. He is Papa. We're doing more fence right now, so sorry about that. And this is Lucille. She is Mama. She's got babies. And she is due in May. So, that's our piggies. And they're getting some fresh grass today until we can get them a full pasture. We've been putting them in small pens until it gets down. We let this one get a little bit shorter than we wanted. but So, we'll let them get that grass, fresh grass over there so we can... Uh, get the whole plan made the whole plan is is eventually once we get all this stuff cleaned out and it starts to grow we'll put the uh, babies are gonna come to this side and then when that back pasture over there gets grown up that's where the big pigs will go but anywho let's check on why don't cashmere you're all by yourself. Where are you going? <laughs> oh, boy. This is chinchilla. We have all this beautiful compost. Ooh, look, that's horrible. Yeah, that's winter right there. And <clears throat> that's coming out to go in the garden. Hi, chinchilla. And this is Oreo. Say hi, Oreo. No, Oreo doesn't want to say hi. And then we have... What's the matter, Elsa? You camera shy? That's Elsa. She's our meat rabbit. And hopefully we'll be getting babies from her end of this month. And Well, actually, next weekend. So, that's Elsa. She's our meat rabbit. She's a um, Californian. New Zealand, New Zealand, I don't know, I can't remember. Anyways, this is our other meat rabbit. And, um, he's the daddy. So, he likes to hide in that corner. He's not very social. All of our other rabbits are. But he's not. And then that's Raven. And Joe Dirt. What are you doing, Joe Dirt? They must not like the phone. And this pretty little girl is Loretta and she is also going to have babies here next weekend. Cashmere, are you waiting to scratch up some of that? Yeah, you better get to it because I'm getting it out tomorrow. It's all going in the garden. Yeah, we're always making a mess here. I don't know when it's ever going to be clean, but we're trying. But, here's our other new little critters on the farm. Here's our other new ones. This is a Cooney Cooney mix of some sort. I'm thinking American Guinea. I'm not sure. But this one is... Where are you going? They knocked the fence down. Rooting. Um, that's American Guinea Cooney Cooney mix. That's Swagger. And this little girl is Hamber, and when we first got her, she only had goat friends, and she loved them. Let's see what else. We have Mr. Noah. He likes him head rub. Yes, he does. He loves it. He is pulled, blue-eyed, Nigerian dwarf. Supposed to be Nigerian dwarf, but he's, look how tall he is. He's, he's pretty tall. Not quite sure about that. So he is not going to breed any of my uh, girls. This is one of the first goats that we got. And her name is Cutie. And Cutie has a baby over there. And Cutie <laughs> was supposed to be a Nigerian dwarf. Hmm. Boy, I knew nothing about goats when I got her. And she is not a Nigerian dwarf. But we love her. We love her two bits. Let's go see the horsies. What you doing, Mr. Avalanche? Come here. You gonna come see me? Why are you guys acting camera shy? 
Lena probably won't act camera shy. She loves the camera for some reason. This is Daisy. Daisy, where are you going? Where are you going, Daisy? Are you hiding? <laughs> Maybe Miss Lena will say hi. Hi, Lena girl. Her just had a birthday yesterday. 21 years old. These were my babies. These were my hatch outs from October. I think two days before trick or treat. These are my hatch outs right here. They're so cute. Actually, that's not true. I got these ones as chicks from Hoover Hatchery. And these two black ones are actually my hatch outs. I got myself a hen. And I got myself a rooster. That's speedy. And that's sneaky. And my other ones didn't make it. So out of nine, those are the only two. The only two that remained. And then that one I got from Hoover Hatchery. And these are all of our new babies to our farm. We love them. They are amazing. Don't touch the fence. This is Pebbles. She came with the name Onyx, but she dropped so many pebbles that I had to rename her. Way more pebbles than anybody else. That's little Miss Lana. She is a pulled little girl, Nigerian dwarf. And that is Miss Luna. She has moon spots, hence her name is Luna, with her little green tattoo ears. Come here, Luna. You gonna come see me? I'm not coming over right this second. She is actually Dame Raised, and she is super, 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 super friendly. Like, she is the most friendliest goat. But her breeder is um, very interactive with all of her goats. So she's very, very friendly. I'm getting to you, Chuggalugs. This is my boy Chugs. That's my boy Chet. Chet is very skittish. He sometimes comes close enough and lets me pet him, but not a lot. But Chuggalugs does. Hey, Chugs. See Chugs' head? That's what happens when you let the vet remove scurs. Poor guy. I think I'll stick with just iron, hot iron debutting because that just looks awful. Come here, Chet. Let me see if I can see your head. Chet's head is, um, his hair's covered it, but it looks like his was done the same way as Chug's was. So there's just a big gnarly scar all the way across the top of their head. So, hmm, I don't really like that too much. But these are my other two boys, and then I have some boys, um, inside that are bottle babies. So let's go check them out. First, we're going to check out my roosters. They're gorgeous, but they had to be pinned up because they started chasing my little kids, my little grandkids, and me and my husband. They sneak up behind us and peck us on the leg, so they're going to become yummy yummies. And these are some of my hens. They lay my eggs that... Where's the other ones? They must be in the coop. But they lay um, the eggs that we actually eat, not the ones that are... Oh, Brutus. He's... Oh, uh, she does not like that. That's one of my senior chicks. I'm going to have to do something about that. She don't like him breeding her. She actually just came out of this coop today. She doesn't lay eggs anymore, so we figured we'd go ahead and let her free range. And there's some dogs. And my little white dog right there is getting rehomed because he got a hold of a chicken through that fence. And 
We can't be having that. So he's going to get rehomed. He's not good with little, little animals. Yes, this is um, just chicken wire. Hi, guys. But we don't have problems with predators except for my very own dogs. Um, so they, they are very safe. We've had them like this for three years and five acres of property and have not one time seen a single coon. Um, we do have possums, but I think the dogs do a pretty good job since they're right next to the chickens of keeping stuff away. Cause like I said, three years and we haven't had any problems except for with hawks. They get my free rangers and I've only lost two to the hawks. So we're doing pretty good, I think. Now we're inside the house. And this is Pogo. How you doing, Pogo? And that's Astro. Astro is a blue-eyed, pulled, moon-spotted Nigerian dwarf. And of course, if I didn't tell you what the other ones were, that's because they're disbudded. Nigerian dwarfs, I guess. I don't know why I decided to tell you about the pulled ones instead. But anyways, if I didn't say they were pulled, that means they were disbudded. So I have two pulled girls, one pulled boy. What? This one right here? Oh, he's such a biter. It doesn't matter. He just, ooh, slimy. He bites no matter what. Don't you? Don't you, Astro? This is Astro. He's got a little bit of a goopy eye but that's uh he got it injured during birth so yeah but that's what's happening on the farm we've got pigs and we've got goats and we've got baby bunnies due soon we've got rabbits due soon we've actually got um kittens due soon so i think i'm going to be having Rabbits, pigs, and goats <laughs> all do at the same time, pretty much, very close. Rabbits will go first, and then the um, cat, pig, and goat, they uh, are all due in May. So. And then we will have some little peepers. Can't remember how many eggs I have in there, like 20 something. This don't work, by the way. Not at all. So I've got a got one in there. My humidity is just not working great in this um incubator for some reason. So um tried all the tricks and it's just not working. So we'll see how this hatch works. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, thanks for uh coming along and checking out my animals. See you later.